Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax. And while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Mm, that's a pretty nice fire you made this evening, Mrs. Norton. Hey. Hey, what are you doing over there? Oh, darn him. Darn him. Bobby's ripping all the knees out of all his britches. Wish he'd stop creeping around so much. <laughs> Cheer up. When he starts walking, you'll be darning his socks. Well, that's something to look forward to. There's one advantage with women's stockings. Once they tear, they're gone. Oh, extravagant little woman, aren't you? Just lazy. What are you walking around looking for? How can you tell I'm looking for something? Just the way you look, not aimless. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, got him, got him. I was looking for my matches. Well, I hope you've got them. I strewed them all over the living room in every nook and cranny. You will find matches. Mm-hmm. The perfect wife. That's me. No. No, I'm all subtle. Good. Well, what'd you do all day, perfect wife? Told you, I strewed matches. Oh, you must be exhausted. I am. What'd you do all day? Mm, nothing special. Sounds to me as if it was a pretty good day from the way you sound. Well, as a matter of fact, it was. What was? Everything. David, don't tease me. Tell me. Come oh, on. Oh, my. Aren't we curious? Listen, now, let's get one thing straight oh, right uh, here. Only one thing. Firstly, I happen to know you're positively bursting to tell me all about what uh, happened today. Yes, I'm just bursting. Bursting? Yeah. Yeah. You've been bursting ever since you came into this house. I have. You've been walking around. You've been tentative and vague. You've been starting sentences and not finishing them. What do you, what do you, what do you want to do? Well, you Gin just rummy? tell me what you did all day, darling. Get it off your chest. I'm all settled back. I'm ready to listen, but I am not curious. Ooh. Well, go on. Talk. You're, you're making me self-conscious. Talk. No, oh, all right, all right. I'll, I'll talk. Good. No, no. Th there's nothing really worth telling you about. To think that only two minutes ago I thought you were so nice. How fickle life well, is. Well, then, to bring back your faith, I, I had lunch with a very interesting chap. Aha, uh -huh, you see. Mm -hmm. He's with the building commission. Building commission. Yeah, he's sort of a architectural engineer. Well, that's nice. Where? New York. I mean, where did you have lunch with him? Is that all you're interested in? Well, isn't that what you started to tell me? Well, he's, he's working on a new kind of roof tiling. Oh, lovely. It would reduce the cost of housing. That's good. You see, the average layman doesn't realize how important roof tiling is. No, I'm sure we don't. Now, the weight of tiling, for instance, affects the entire structure of the house. Oh, fascinating. Mm -hmm. Then it has to be laid. Mm -hmm. The man hours involved are very important in any housing estimate. David, you, you really like being an architect, don't you? It's, it's, it's what I be. Must be nice to talk to other people who are interested in the same thing. Very fascinating, exciting. You know, that boy had some really good ideas. Darling, where did you have lunch? <laughs> I knew you'd come back to that again. Then why don't you tell me? <laughs> we had lunch at a restaurant. You don't say. Mm -hmm. And I ate calves' liver with onions. Lots of onions? Lots of onions. Mm-hmm. Sounds delicious. It was. He told me about some modern housing developments in Brazil that he worked on a year ago. You know, they're really making great strides down there. Well, what strides, David? Tell me. Uh, you're not very interested. Of course I am, very. Well, what else do you do all day? Come now, on. now, come on. Now, you haven't told me what you had for lunch and where. Well, I had lunch right here. Oh. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yes, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. They were too soft and too wet. Well, I don't like them soft and wet. No, neither did I. And why did you eat them soft and wet? Because Bertha was doing the laundry. Oh. Well, that, that explains everything. Anyway, I just couldn't be bothered. I thought they'd be all right. And... Oh, well, what's the difference? I ate them. Is that all? I guess I wasn't hungry. Couldn't seem to get enough salt into anything. 
You know, you were making an awful lot of sense. Oh, you know, nothing tasted really right, but... Oh, well, what's the difference? The big difference. David, tell me, what else did you do? Oh, I, um, I talked to Mama on the phone. Mama! Mm-hmm. Why didn't you tell me? What'd she have to say? How is she? Did she miss us? Yes, she had things to say. Yes, she is fine. Yes, she misses us. Mama was very amusing today. You sound as if everybody was amusing today. Mm, everybody was. Well, I wish you were contagious. Come on, tell me more about Mama. Well, Mama hoped you were well. I am. She hoped the baby was well. Yes. She hoped I was well. Oh. Well, Mama certainly was amusing today. Well, that's all. My, what a thrilling conversation. Mm -hmm. It it was nice. Considering it was my mother-in-law, it it was nice. That's nice. It's a fine woman, my mother-in-law. Takes after her daughter. And her son-in-law. Well, I I won't argue. Didn't Mama say anything else? What do you want her to say? Nothing. And Roger, too. Roger, too what? Roger seemed to be very happy today. He was feeling very chipper Do you mean to say he didn't have one little stomachache all day? Nope, not one. That is a record. Sure is. He was... He he, he even was all full of schemes for making a million dollars. Nothing seemed impossible to him. Which just goes to show you what no indigestion does for people. Mm, Sure does. Told me a very amusing story about himself. Oh, tell me. Now you'll have to get Roger to tell you himself. Oh, David. Well, the main thing that was amusing about it was that he was so delighted with it that he laughed all the way through it. I, I hardly heard a word he was saying. Well, t- it didn't matter. You know, Roger's all right. It must be very pleasant spending a day in an office with mm-hmm. him. Yeah. Particularly when everything goes well, like today. Mm. We received an order for a new job, and some checks arrived. Oh, and- good. We heard from clients that we hadn't expected to hear from. Oh, we're going to make out, darling. Now, you just wait and see. I don't have to wait, darling. I know you'll make out. Oh, um... Ooh, what a sigh just went by. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sigh. I was just wondering what it'd be like to be busy, busy, busy all day. Well, aren't you busy, busy, busy all day? You always say you are. Well, I suppose I am, but in a different way than you. Oh, I see. You spend all day talking to people and learning new things and doing business. And well, I have to. That all seems very full and exciting and, well, exciting. You said that. Now, what do I do, really? The world can get along without me beautifully. I dress the baby and I play with him and feed him. And then I feed myself and I talk to people like the grocer and the butcher and the cleaners and the mailwoman. And, <laughs> you uh, sound very busy. As if you did a great deal of talking. Oh, I don't have much time to sit around. It's not that, but... Mm -hmm. I'd just like to have been a fly on your wall today, David. A fly? Right in the thick of things. It's funny, I knew the minute you walked into the house, you'd had a good day. And I knew the minute that I walked into the house that you were down in the dumps. I was not down in the dumps. I'm not now, either. Mm, Maybe just, uh, just a little down, maybe. I'm not a down in the dumps person, and I'd certainly hate myself if I were. Now, that's silly. That, that is the silly... Now, look, you have as much right to be down in the dumps as anybody else. Well, that's sweet, only it's not true. It certainly I have is. no right. You know what? what? All day I thought it was going to snow. And then you know what? What? It rained. Well, that's a fine how do you do. Well, that's that's life. Yes, it is. Was the uh, baby upset today? No, why? Mm, no reason. Well, I suppose it was just one of those days. One of... What days? Be, be, be specific, will you? One of those days when I comb my hair and nothing happened. Uh, will you say that again? Well, for instance, I was sitting around feeling something that had just had to happen soon. Mm-hmm. When nothing happened, I thought, well, I'll comb my hair. And nothing happened. Sitting around feeling something that had to happen and I'll comb my hair. So I suppose that a mind reader might understand what you're saying. You don't know? you really understand, David? No, there I it don't. was, hanging limp. Uh, what was? My hair, of course. What do you think we're talking about? And uh, it was hanging limp. Utterly. Limp. Uh, it doesn't look hanging limp to me. Well, it feels hanging limp. You know, maybe I'd have it all cut off. Shaved, maybe. Shaved, that's a good idea. <sighs> no, I guess I'll wash it soon, then it'll be better. But I just did wash it, didn't I? Oh, well. Mm-hmm. Now I see. Now you see what? Now I see behind that hair hanging limp. Well, then you must be a ventriloquist. A what? 
No, that's somebody who talks without talking. Right. David, what is a man who sees through things? A husband. Only very special husbands, darling. So you were sitting here wishing that you were me, is that it? No, 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 well, I didn't say that. Well, you may well say You may not even realize it, but that's what you were wishing. Oh, nonsense. Mm -hmm. You're a little jealous of my going down to New York every day. All sounds very exciting to you, doesn't well, it? When you tell about it, it does sound exciting. But I'm not jealous. David, I love you. How can I be jealous now, of you? Love and being jealous have nothing to do with each other. And, and darling, I'm, I'm not criticizing. Aren't you? Of course not. Things only seem good to me because of you. What does? What oh, does? Everything. Work, play, people, architecture even. David, I know I'm not bright, but Einstein wouldn't understand you now. Well, now, you just listen and learn. You see, when I see somebody interesting, I say to myself, I must tell Claudia about this. Or if we get a new contract for a new job, I... That means the second cow that we want to buy or the brake front you saw and fell in love with. That is the simple meaning of everything, darling. David, you're not just saying all this. No, no. Why should I? Well, you, you just might. You know, I bet you sometimes during the day you forget that I love you. I never forget I love you. Well, that's good. David... When tomorrow comes, you don't have to send me one single valentine. Well, I had no intention to. Good, because you've just given me the best valentine of all. You know, it's funny. A person sometimes forgets the, the bottom of things. Hey, did you say tomorrow? Yeah, Valentine's Day. Well, isn't today the 14th? So? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me look at my calendar. Yep, yep. Yes, sir. Look at that. There it is. It's today. What is? What is today? The 14th, right there in front of you. And the 14th, in anybody's calendar, is Valentine's Day. You mean today is the... I certainly do. Today is... Then it is today. Mm -hmm. We're a fine couple, aren't we? We both forgot. Oh, darling. Doesn't matter if we forget Valentine's Day. So long as we never forget to love each other. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr, and the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. When holidays are as frivolous and gay as St. Valentine's Day, they call for equally gay celebration with bright decorations, light music, and for refreshment, ice-cold Coca-Cola. As a matter of fact, you can dispense with the decorations if you have enough Coke to go around, for Coke brings to any social gathering the pause that refreshes. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. <laughs>